fractions and division. How can we express this together? And how do they relate? Well, let's take any fraction, such as 1 over 4. Now then, this could mean that we are taking one object and dividing it between a total number, such as one pizza divided by four people. And if we take one pizza and divide it by four people, that means each person gets one quarter, as the fraction suggests. Another way to write this is 1 over 4 also equals 1 divided by 4. You see, because we are taking the one whole pizza and dividing it four times, because we want to know how much each person will take. That is why this fraction relates to this division, because this shows how we will equally distribute the pizza or the object and it can also be wrote in this way and we get the same thing. Any fraction you get, absolutely any fraction, we can write it in this form as well. Whatever it may be, we can say it's 2 over 6 and it will be 2 divided by 6. Even if the fraction is improper, meaning it is 7 over 5, still the same, it's 7 divided by 5, it's still wrote this way. Even when we have a mixed number, such as 2 and 1 over 3, we can still write this as a division expression. How? We can multiply this out into a fraction. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and it goes over the denominator. And that is our mixed number expressed as a fraction. And this is equal to 7 divided by 3. So for this lesson, fractions and division, how they're related, basically any fraction can be wrote as a division expression like this. It means the same thing.